So the next um, few chords, um, so excuse me, the next um, part is to add the chords. So you need to add an instrument, okay, so you, um, to have to play the chords. So you go to the plus sign and click on keyboard, for instance. Okay, now you'll see here you've got the keys, which is helpful. So we want to play these, which is useful. But we're also going to look at another way we can play chords, too, on Garage Band. So the chords we need are D minor, which are D, F, and A, and C major, C, E, and G. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I would record those in simply first, and then I'll show you another way that you can record it um, using um, Smart Piano 2. Okay, now you can have a little look and see. So we want basically, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? Okay, that kind of simple rhythm, just for the moment. We can experiment with rhythm later on. Okay, so um, I'm just going to record it so you can see it, what it's going to look like. Um, Get rid of, I don't know I've got two of those there. Just delete that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to record, okay, that um, my melody, my chords even over my, underneath my melody. I'm going to go take it down a little bit, maybe it's about 892, so it's nice and comfortable for me playing. Take it right back to the beginning, have my metronome on, okay, pressing the red button at the top of the circle. Okay, I could just see, just check for the first instance that those are looking good. Um, and I can see some of them are slightly skew, skew if, so you can just change your notes around. That's why it's best to do it in little chunks rather than to do it all in one go. Otherwise, you have loads of notes to kind of correct, maybe. Um, so just have a look and make sure that that's all looking good. And it does look good, those four bars. So I can now record the last four bars. Okay, so I've got, um, I started on D. I had... C, okay, I'm now going to go back to D. Sorry, slight uh, problem there with my low battery. I'm going to delete that and do that again. Okay, so starting on D. Move to C. Last bar. Okay, I can then edit those notes and see how they look, but it looks pretty good. Remember the last, um, uh, the last bar, seven and eight, we have one chord of C and then one chord of um, D, because previously we've had two of D, two of C, two of D, but at the end it changes a little bit. So I can listen back to that. Okay, now I'm going to show you a different way for the chorus to record, and this might be a nice way to, for you to do it, is to use the, um, the smart piano. So if you click on this button at the top right of the piano, it gives you the chords that you can play. Okay, and high, middle, and low. Now we need D minor and C. So if you don't have those, you need to make sure that on this cog at the top, you press edit chords. Okay, so for that one there, and if you can't see D minor and C, you need to be able to make sure you can see that. So I've got D minor, none and none, that's fine. I can see D minor there. And let's pretend like that A minor there. We want that to be a C, so it makes it a bit easier for us. And it needs to be C major, not C minor, okay? So I can now play. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? All right in the morning. Okay, so have a little experiment with that. You can do it as whatever way you want. Okay, so I'll just do a couple of bars to show you. So I've got my cursor on bar 
Now, what you could do, I did the whole bar there, a whole, a whole, a whole section. What you could do is you could also maybe try using um, the um, other function, which is the autoplay. And if I show you the autoplay now, turn the autoplay, you can have a quite complex. And it gives a nice pattern for you. With a drunken sailor lie in the morning. Okay. So that's something you could do as well. So let's experiment with that. So my 9.1 cursor, metronome on, I keep forgetting, which is really important. Okay, pressing the red circle at the top. So you can now have a listen back to that. Which creates a really cool pattern, I think. Now what you could do is you could even change this now, because this is it's, there's, the sounds of it aren't great, are they? Because they're both piano. So you could just change it. You could have anything that you wanted. You could have maybe, um, I don't know, you could go for a glockenspiel. You could go for a flute. Maybe that's quite a nice high-pitched sound that will cut through. because you've got that new chord idea. So it's now your turn to have a go at playing in the chords and experimenting with those functions. You could do it with manually, you could do it um, just playing the autoplay um, quite simply um, with some um, simple, you could go a bit more complex than that, but you need to make sure that you've got the melody in the chords uh, like this set up. Have fun.